Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of April 19th through the 25th. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this could happen at any time, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are talking to you. You're going to receive messages through your dreams. Two-faced. You got a two-faced individual here. Oh, could be a Pisces. Interesting. We got two fish, you know, uh, going against the grain, going against the flow, going, you know. It's interesting right next to that little two-faced. I'm not sure you could be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe, maybe not. Taurus. You could also be dealing with a Taurus. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. No offense to anybody, but when I see that, you know, Gemini, you know, uh, is a twin. So, um, pay attention to your dreams. I feel as though you need to get grounded. I feel like you've been going in opposite directions and you need to ground yourself. Okay, you need to ground yourself. You need to do that this week. Really, also with this, pay attention to your dreams. I mean, that card can mean a couple different things. Pay attention to your, your dreams that you have at night, but pay attention to your, your life dreams as well. What is it What is it that you want? What is it that you want in your life? What is your? What are your dreams? Really pay attention to... Uh, your own wish fulfillment and what it is you are trying to accomplish in this lifetime. Um, make sure that you're not wearing a mask and, you know, this could be your own energy where you're wearing a mask trying to be somebody that you're not. You know, what are your dreams? Remember what your dreams are and really focus on your dreams. Maybe it's time to get back to, to the basics. Okay, I think you've been going in a lot of you've been going against the current, right? You've been that's what it feels like to me, and I feel like you need to stabilize because Taurus is about stabilization, and that's just a, a different message that I just got for you. Um, but you also could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could be dealing with a Gemini this week. Um, you may also be dealing with a two faced person that is. Uh, very, very stubborn, very, very arrogant that is causing some sort of challenge in your life. Time out. Time out. You need to take time out. Maybe you've forgotten what your dreams are. Maybe you've let your emotions get the best of you. You think about Pisces. Pisces is very emotional. Taurus is very grounded. This is very fluid versus grounded. You may need to take a time out to get grounded. Time out. This is time out. Oh, we got some money going down the drain. Maybe you're not stopping to think about things. Maybe you're moving too fast. There's money that is being wasted. Ex unexpected help is arriving. Look at that. We have a star here. So th there's some sort of wish fulfillment. An unexpected help is arriving in your direction. Um, this unexpected help could be from an older man. Okay, there could be an older man that is coming in and they are going to be providing you some sort of help. Maybe it's financial help. I don't know if that's the case. But there is some sort of unexpected help coming in. Um, Let's get one more. Oh, I just shuffled, and it is definitely an older man. Um, I think that you are going to be uh, obviously receiving some help. Maybe it's just advice. You could be receiving advice from somebody. But either way, a timeout is needed. Probably you need to think about your money. You need to think about your spending. Maybe you need to be a little bit wiser. Um, I feel like you need to pay attention, put it that way. You need to pay attention to your dreams, but don't waste money. 
uh, hold on to your money. If you've been struggling financially, you could be receiving something from somebody. Maybe it's a job offer or it's a raise or, or maybe it's just advice. But either way, um, you are going to receive some, something very stable. Taurus, like I said, is about stability next to that unexpected help. You're going to be receiving something that is going to bring you some sort of stability. So what do we have for Capricorn for the week ahead? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Empress could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, or this is just the birth of a new life after a painful situation. Some of you could be receiving news of a pregnancy, or somebody that you know could be giving birth. Um, this is getting very creative, uh, creating something. We have a creator here. Maybe you need to get creative to create yourself a new life. This is a card of abundance, of fertility. It's a definitely a very fertile time right now. Okay. We also have an older man that is interested in a very beautiful woman. This woman um, is very vo poised, very put together, um, has a lot to offer, looking very good, very, very beautiful. This is a motherly person, um, somebody that is very caring and nurturing. This, she's about to receive some sort of blessing of some sort because the Empress gives birth to a blessing. So there is definitely a blessing that is coming. I feel like there's news of a pregnancy. Some of you may be pregnant and maybe you get the news of that. Or or this is just the birth of, of something new. The chariot reversed. Now the chariot reversed is a halt. Something coming to a stop. Or it could be emotions all over the place. Um, lack of discipline. Out of control. A need to control things, a need for discipline, a need for control, a need to take back control. Somebody may be wanting to uh, take control, but their emotions are all over the place. There's been some sort of a day. Unexpected help is arriving, but this is a delay of some sort. Hmm. Let me just zoom in a little bit. What is this chariot reversed? Uh, if some of you are having any car issues, if there is some unexpected car issues, help is going to arrive. Okay, it, there could be some car issues. I'm not sure. If there is, you know, there is help that will arrive. Um... Because the chariot reverse can be vehicle issues with the vehicle. You could something to do with a vehicle. Ace of Swords, communication, truth, honesty, power, a wake up call, awakening. Somebody's going to be communicating with you. There's been some sort of delay. This is taking a new approach, being very honest. Somebody is going to be, after there's been a delay, there's going to be some news that is coming. I feel like it's good news. I do feel like it is good news. Some sort of truth is being told. Whoever is communicating with you has been unable to communicate or they've had to make a choice. Their emotions have been all over the place. They may have gone through some sort of awakening, of an awakening. There's been some sort of delay. Things have been stagnant. They've been delayed. Two of Wands, like I said, they're making a choice. I knew they were. Somebody is making a choice. They have made a decision. Could also be dealing with a cancer. We have Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, 
Taurus again, Libra, Gemini. A decision is being made. It could be a spur of the moment decision. Somebody could be getting taking a new approach. Maybe they went through some sort of awakening. They've had some sort of an epiphany with the Ace of Swords. Making a decision to step into unknown territory. Stepping into a, a new path. Somebody has been at a crossroads, but I feel like they've made a decision. They've gotten some sort of epiphany. And they're going to be communicating something very truthful to you. They can't stop themselves either. It feels like the, things are... Their things are scattered. Their emotions are scattered. Their emotions are all over the place. I think a new approach is about to be taken. And I think it's from whoever it is that you're dealing with. Somebody that you are dealing with is about to say something to you that is probably... Uh, going to surprise you. I think this is going to be a surprise. The magician reversed. So the magician reversed is manipulation. It's a lies. It's a liar. There's been some sort of uh, miscommunication by the looks of things. Somebody hasn't been communicating. This is no communication. Not taking any action. Manipulation. We have a two-faced individual here who uh, lies a lot. We have a liar here, unfortunately. I mean, the magician reverse is a liar. This is somebody that is very manipulative, that uh, is very skilled at lying. Okay? This is somebody that is very boastful, a show-off. Somebody that is, uh, I don't know, could even be somebody that is violent. The magician reversed. is a master manipulator. We have a master manipulator here that is making a decision to say something to you. This person is gonna do something. They're gonna say something to you, but I think that they're two-faced and you need to be careful. I think that you need to be careful, okay? I do, I mean, I hate to give you this message, but I think that you really need to be careful because I feel like they have some sort of ulterior motive. Uh, they, they may say that they're coming to help you with something. They see your beauty. They see your abundance. Somebody sees something in you. They see your value. You know, they see something in you. And I feel like maybe they want you to take care of them. Somebody may want you to take care of them. We, we have a very motherly energy here. This is somebody that is very caring, kind, generous, loving, abundant, that does everything with love. And I feel like there is, an, there is somebody that is uh, making a decision based on their own intentions. This is somebody that is uh, uh, the magician reverse is a master manipulator, a liar, a thief, a skilled uh, individual who is very good at pretending and manipulating, put it that way. This is a trickster. You have a trickster here, somebody that, I don't know, this person may be very arrogant, maybe not even thinking about what they're doing. They're just making it. This is a spur of the moment decision. This is not thinking, okay? Not mastering emotions, emotions all over the place, communicating something with you unexpectedly. I think you're going to be receiving some unexpected communication from somebody that is all over the place. With that, with that, with the two fish going in in different directions, this person is all over the place, and I feel like they want something from you that because you can take care of them. There's something we have an empress here. The empress is is very motherly and caring and nurturing, and I feel like somebody wants some some wants something from you. They want control. Somebody wants control. They want to keep the control. 
They want the power and this person is feeling powerless. They've lost some sort of control over you. I don't know who the heck you're dealing with. Somebody wants the control. They want the control that they lost. There's a loss of resources here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is now going to be communicating with you because they've lost something of value. You know, and maybe that was you. Taking action without thinking, taking a new approach, communicating, making a spur of the moment decision. This person is slow to move, doesn't move fast. They've been planning it. They've been thinking about it. But this is but this is acting without thinking. So I think the decision really is spur of the moment. But, that, but I do feel, it almost feels like it's been premeditated. But it's been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This person's been back and forth about it. You are probably, well, I think that you're going to be approached by somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. And I feel like they may say that they are coming to help you or they want to help you. You know, and I don't know if there's some sort of fame here with that star card or whatever it is. There's somebody here that is... Uh, seeing your shine, they're seeing your glow, they're seeing your beauty, they're seeing something in you, and I feel like they are making a decision that they thought about, but it's spur of the moment. I feel like they've gotten some sort of wake-up call because they've lost their power over you, and I feel like now their emotions are all over the place, and uh, they... want you to take care of them they don't want you to move on somebody doesn't want you to move on maybe you're in the process maybe you're a creator or you're creating a new life for yourself and this person is trying to stop you from moving on anyhow I, I don't know who this person is but I feel like it is somebody that uh, has been blocking you for some because the two of wands is at a crossroads there's been some sort of blockage here I feel like they've been blocking you and but I think that you've healed you've been through a period you've been through a painful experience with this person I think you do obviously know this person and I think that you've blossomed I think I think that you've grown I think that you've you've become you know uh a beautiful person you know and now and now this person has lost their power so they're coming to take it back they want to take it back so I think that you you need to be very careful um, you may need to say time out you may need to say no you I mean this right here is a person of value okay the Empress is a person of value everybody sees her value everybody sees her beauty sees you know her abundance and everybody wants to wants a piece everybody wants a piece of the empress it's very noticeable and i feel like i feel like we have this empress here that is is widely noticed for all that she is and i feel like there is some sort of master manipulator over here that has ulterior motives that is coming in to help and it's not good okay it's not good i think you need to put the brakes on i think you need to say no honestly i think you need to put the brakes on you need to you do need to put the brakes on you may need to put the brakes on um i feel like you're dealing with a two-faced individual now that we know we have a two-faced individual here and that's why we have unexpected help and, and then we have this disaster ahead I do feel like there's a disaster ahead because I feel like you're dealing with a liar here that could get violent when they lose their power. So, you know, I feel like 
I feel like uh, you have somebody that is very arrogant, that is not really qualified, that has or is and is feels like they're abusive. It feels like this person could be mentally abusive, verbally abusive, something like that. I feel like this person is going to be uh, taking a new approach to regain their power over you. And this could be any sign at all. It could be uh, any sign. It could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It could be Gemini. It could be anybody. Um, Taurus, um, Pisces, Cancer. Either way, we have a very uh, beautiful individual here who is abundant that needs to say no, 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 no. Seriously, needs to say time out, time out, time out. I think that I think that there is a person here that is going to uh, need. To, this has put a stop to something. Something is going to need to be stopped. You need to stop it in its tracks. I feel like we have an older man here that is all over the place. And it is because of a woman that he has lost power over. Could be vice versa. It could be. It could be vice versa. I do feel like uh, somebody has abused their power, and they're going to try to do it again with that magician reversed. It's going to be very unexpected, and then that could be the spur of the moment. You don't expect it. You totally do not expect it. But I do believe that this person is going to. Uh, take a new approach they're going to communicate something to you and it's not truthful it's not I don't think it is I think it's lies I think this person is very skilled at lying this is a very smooth talker very smooth this is something that they do on a regular basis so I would say that you can probably expect the unexpected you're going to be receiving some sort of communication from somebody that has decided that they want some sort of control over you. And I think it's because they've lost control. And I think that you're in a really beautiful place. I really feel like you are in a beautiful place. You're creating the beautiful life that you deserve. You know, I do. I feel like you, you're, you're blessed. You're glowing. You're in a good place. And I think that you need to take a time out. Maybe you need to not engage do not engage at all. Say no. The magician upright is yes. The magician reversed is no. You need, you're going to need to tell somebody no. In this next week. Because you know your value. You know your worth. Okay. You know your value and your worth. So yeah, you're going to have to tell somebody no. Okay. I mean, the Empress knows her value, knows her worth. She's beautiful. She's abundant. Motherly. Um, everybody wants to help the Empress. And whoever this person is knows it. And they're probably jealous. There could also be an outburst ahead with the chariot reversed. You, If you are a male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who is dealing with a man that is trying to manipulate her. You know, say you're the Capricorn man watching this. You could be dealing with a woman who has somebody that is trying to manipulate her. There is somebody here that is trying to manipulate a woman. And this woman is doing quite well. And they just want their power back. So beware. Good luck.